Hi guys, I'm back at the expo and we are on Q2 Japan Pavilion with this too. So story time, we booked a reservation through the Dubai Expo app and then we got through. But then suddenly it was not there. I don't know what happened. But luckily, every time you book, they will send an email. So we just show the email that we are booked today. So we are here. This is it. Okay, hello. Hi. Okay. How can you wait a moment? It's together, right? Yeah, we're together. Three? Three. Yes. How, what time is it? Like uh, uh, 1 45. Can we go? So you have like the long. Oh, no way. So you have like the different time? No. <coughs> we are the same.
tutto goccia in sole Wow. Si la annex. So here's my thoughts and honest opinion about the exhibit. Mm, is it worth visiting? Knowing that it's elusive and you have to take extra step just to get in. Well first, I have been to Japan and I really love the country, I love the food, the culture, and it's the only country that I wanted to go back among other countries that I have been. So naturally, I'm eager to get inside the pavilion no matter what. But in certain conditions that, in you, that if you only have a day to explore the expo and you are a Japanese culture enthusiast, then I say you go for it. Otherwise, you can just skip it. If you are not a Japanese culture enthusiast, just totally skip it and you'll have um, same or even greater pavilion that you can visit and you will have a great um, expo experience. Second, if you're not a Japanese culture enthusiast and you have more days to visit the expo, I say you also skip it. And here's my honest thoughts. So we all know that Japan is one of the like tech country. They have this advanced uh, technology and all that stuff. So I was actually expecting to see that in the exhibit in their pavilion. But actually it was just more of visuals. It's like they're saying that we are all connected to each other and that we have the chance to um, change our future to change the future of our planet given the devastating state of our planet and that we can save it and I did saw that also in Germany but the difference is 
uh, Germany has this like interactive way it's more fun so I think um, for me Germany is just worth uh, the waiting time although Germany also has like 90 to uh, two hours waiting time but it's worth it because it's really fun it's very interactive and that's just my honest opinion and lastly the food it's really worth trying you just have to make the waiting time work for you so you just get a token and then explore some other pavilions then just go back and yeah i think that's it and i hope this video help you to decide whether to visit japan pavilion or not so that's it for this video i hope you will also watch my other expo videos i'll put the link in the description box and if you're not subscribed yet then please do so and share this video i'll see you guys in my next one bye